It is foggy out this morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Central Florida Fishermen. I'm Chad. So we're getting into January, which means the small game's opening up here in Florida. So uh, it's been a long time since I've been out small game hunting and I want to uh, try to get a quail to cook here. So I'm down to the, the public hunting land and uh, I know a place here where there's usually some quail at. So we're gonna hike back in. I got the 12 gauge. I've got a Mossberg 535 uh, pump, 12 gauge. And uh, we're gonna hike back in and see if I can jump some of these quail up and maybe hit one. It's been a, been a long time since I've been out small game hunting and actually aimed up on a, a, a flying quail. But we're gonna give it a shot today and uh, see how we make out. So let's get uh, heading back through. So we get walking around out here and I mean you can see just how vast of an area it is. Now these quail last time I jumped them were laying in this general vicinity somewhere within like this five acre plot which five acres for one person to cover is is a lot you know so you're being the bird dog and the hunter at the same time. So I came across this area here and while I'm out small game hunting, I also keep in mind that I'm scouting for the next season for, for deer sign and hog sign. And I found this area here that's absolutely devastated by the hogs. So I'm gonna take a mental note of that and, and know that these hogs are running out of this thicket and coming in here and, and digging this area up. So it gives me uh, a little more area to scout and look for next year. But uh, trying to push through this stuff by yourself is hard. But I, I keep moving and keep pushing through and get on the other side here. And that's where I finally do find some quail here. And those quail went up and I see where I messed up at. I focused on the lead bird. If I would have came back and got on the, the two birds that came up after that, I, I would have had one of them. But my main focus stayed on that lead bird that went out. And uh, that's where I was distracted and never got the shot on the ones I should have had. Go down. So we're gonna walk up this fire break here. Got some oaks. So maybe we'll find a squirrel. There's one.
squirrel for dinner. <clears throat> there it is. A gray squirrel. So we'll see if we see any more up in these oaks here. Put him in the pocket. All right, I knew if we'd wait him out. All right, well, we got two squirrels. Which ought to be plenty for dinner. So we'll get moseying. Going back to the house and get these guys cooked up. stand things have been here since the dawn of time all right let's get rolling on out of here well I'll tell you what I didn't do too good on the quail hunting but uh, we did uh, get some squirrels for dinner the old uh, Mossberg 535 comes through every time. You just got to know how to shoot it. And uh, I can knock them squirrels out, but hitting them quail and sniper, a whole nother story. So we're going to go home. We're going to get these two guys cleaned up. 
get them on uh, on the tracker and uh, have a little lunch. So let's get rolling on out of here. All right, well, I'm gonna get home. It's like 9.13, I didn't stay out long today. I'm gonna get this uh, different choke put in the shotgun, shoot it a little bit, play around with it. You know I mean? It's been a, a minute since I've been out in small game hunting and, and played with the shotgun. But it sure was fun. So uh, I'm gonna get heading down the road. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Next time, hopefully I'll have some quail. I'm out.